Hi, this is Lori from Happy Birds Glitter Nest, and today I'm going to show you how to make these really super inexpensive, cute little um, cake pop treats. And they're so versatile, you can decorate these in so many ways. And most of the things that I use to make them are from the Dollar Tree. And I'll tell you more about that later on in the video. And as you can tell, they are very sturdy. They're not going to fall off. And I used the little snack cakes um, that you find at the grocery store. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that as we go along as well. And what I love about this the most is that you can make these up and pass them out as treats um, on Easter or um, you might have a spring luncheon at your church or your organization or club and um, you know you might want to give these as like little party favors or something like that and if you're also one of these grandmas who have 20 grandchildren <laughs> this is something that you can do for them that's really inexpensive and like I said you can dress this up you can dress this down um, you can turn them into something that a little boy would like as well. So um, I was even thinking that you could probably even do these as favors for weddings. Um, maybe put some rhinestones, some clear rhinestones down here with pearls and maybe have some beautiful little floral stickers and um, I don't know, I, I was just thinking of things. So with that said, let's move on and I'll show you how to make these super easy and super inexpensive little um, cake pops. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need some of these very large popsicle sticks. Actually, they're more like tongue depressors, but um, I call them popsicle sticks because you find them in the craft section at Walmart or at Michael's where all the other popsicle sticks are. And they are just a hair under an inch wide and the length is pretty close to eight inches. Now it doesn't matter if it's off a millimeter or two, but it's just I'm just trying to give you a rough idea as to how large these are. And as you can see, I've already gone through a ton of them because this bag was chock full of them. And they were really inexpensive at Walmart. Okay, so now you're going to need some type of white multi-surface um, paint. And this is by Folk Art. It's called Titanium White. And it's a satin finish. I'm using one of the cosmetic sponges that I bought at the Dollar Tree. And I found this method to be best. It's better than using a brush. With a brush, um, you see brush strokes on here and it takes longer to dry. And I found that using this with a sponge really cuts down on the drying time and it also saves on paint. So what I like to do is I like to just kind of dab it like that and then just kind of get some of it off like that. And then you're just going to sponge it on like this. You just need a little at a time and I usually give it one coat and I allow it to dry and then I come back in and give it a second coat but I'll tell you that it dries very quickly using this method it's not like using a brush where it takes oh, quite a while before um, the popsicle stick with the paint um, starts to not feel tacky I'm sorry about that I'm trying to get my words out <laughs> Okay, so like I said, you will allow one side to dry and come back and check it 
um, probably in 30 minutes and I'm sure it'll be dry enough for you to give it a second coat and just do the same thing on the back and the edges are simple I just run it across like that very simple okay so I'll go ahead and um, use one that I already did in advance and this is two coats on this okay so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so as you can see, this is completely dry now. So the next thing we're going to need is some little Debbie fancy cakes. And you get five twin wrapped cakes in this box. And they're about $2 a box. I bought this particular one at Winco for $1.58. Now, I chose the white cakes because um, I thought it would be nice. It would kind of give you a, a blank slate to work with, and I'll show you what I'm talking about in a moment. Okay. So here's one of our twin cakes. And I'm going to use this crafter's tape. It's permanent tape. You could also use um, the jot tape, the double-sided tape from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to set this right on here, about like that. And then I'm going to take my little mechanical pencil and just put the smallest little line here. And it kind of tells me that the cake will be sitting on this portion, okay? And I do that so when I take this crafter's tape, I can kind of move upwards like this and not go past that line. And I like to take short little um, rolls. <laughs> Just cover it well. Okay, you can see that on here. And this really does stick. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the cake over because I want to make sure that it's in the middle, this popsicle stick, and that it's not going to go, this top here is not going to go past the cake. I want it to look like a popsicle tree. I'm going to have to move this up a little. Sometimes that happens where you didn't get it exactly right. Okay, and don't worry about this sliding around because we're going to be doing something to secure that too. Okay, I'm not pressing down on this, but you can tell that it's going to hold it. Okay, all right. So, not that you want to be doing that, but... <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Dollar Tree sticker, and they have these um, little butterfly stickers there among other cute little characters and I really prefer the thinner stickers like this over the puffier ones like this because the puffier ones are stiff and the thinner stickers like this that aren't puffy um, can easily be wrapped around the little cakes like this. I'll show you. And it kind of forms right to the wrapper like that. And I'll put another sticker down here, but I want to use some Dollar Tree Organza ribbon first. And I have just a little bit left of the yellow. So that's why I took it off the roll. And let me get some scissors. And I'm just going to slide this behind here. And when I tie this, I, I'm doing just a simple overhand knot. I'm not pulling it tight. I'm just doing it lightly like this. And then I'm tying another overhand knot. 
just to give it a little decoration. Okay. Like that. And I really do think that the organza ribbon looks the best. optional. You can use Dollar Tree rhinestones to kind of match the colors up here. Or um, they also have them at the 99 cent store. There's 315 here from the Dollar Street from the Dollar Tree and there are 504 from the 99 cent store. So there's a difference. Okay, so I'm going to open this up, and if you're sensitive to bag rattling, there will be a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to start by placing this just slightly under here on the side. there'll be one left yeah so yeah, maybe even more mm, felt like that I'll see how that looks I might keep this here I might take it off okay um, and you're gonna take another strip just like this and I'm gonna place it on the other side because I want to make this look even, and if I place it in the middle first, I may not get it exactly where I want it. Might look off center. Yeah, I think I am going to take that one here off the end. Hmm. I think I needed to move that up slightly, so I am going to peel this up before I press it down. I never press down on it until after I'm sure that's exactly where I want it. It's not going to be 100% perfect, but just do the best you can. Yeah. I will say one thing about these Dollar Tree rhinestones. They are very, very sticky. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, and I probably should have done this um, before I stuck the butterfly sticker on. I'm not going to press it very hard because of the cake underneath, but I'm just going to add a few more pieces of bling to this butterfly. I mean, why not? Okay. 
It's certainly cheap enough. These little cake pops or whatever you want to call them, they are so versatile. You can do this at Christmas time using the um, Christmas stickers and maybe the red and green on the white popsicle stick with a red or a green bow. I might even do one, a uh, Christmas one, just for the heck of it, around Christmas time, just to show you guys. Okay, so I'm going to get some pink rhinestones. I thought I had them out here, but apparently not. These are the 99 cent store ones. Just gonna open that. Okay. And I'm just going to place some right here. Like I said, these are really sticky, so I don't have to press on these and smash the cake or anything underneath. Okay. See, it makes a difference. And I might even just put a pink one right here on this little ladybug down here. Jazzes it up a little bit. Okay. And you can do so many things. I was even thinking birthday parties. You can dress these up for little boys as well. You don't have to use the rhinestones down here, but you know, you could um, put little car stickers on here. Um, you know, just all kinds of things. Maybe with a with a blue organza ribbon. And um, I do like the organza ribbon. The other ribbon's a little more difficult uh, to tie because it's bulkier, and this is just really sheer. So it works well for these, and it's inexpensive. <laughs> so I hope you really enjoyed this, and. Um, that uh, you try some of your own. I might put a couple of stickers on the prototype that I did too. <laughs> what the heck, why not? Maybe I'll put one right here. Gotta do that Dollar Tree bling thing, huh? Alright. Alright, so like I said, you know, I hope you give this a try and if you have a chance Come join my Facebook group. It's called Happy Birds Glitter Nest. And you just click to join. And then I'll approve you. And uh, I think you'll, you'll really enjoy it. We have a, a lovely group of ladies and gents on there. And um, so much talent. So with that said, God bless each and every one of you. And I hope you have a wonderful Easter. Bye-bye.